Education is outmoded. Fixing it is crucial for our kids and the economy. Here's how. We have to reinvent education because it's not working for too many of our kids. who are either dropping out of high school or not getting the skills they need or paying a fortune for college and ending up with crushing student debt. In the big picture, much of our education system, from the bells that ring to separate classes to memorization drills, was built to feed the assembly lines that powered the American economy in the last century. What we need today is education that provides the critical thinking skills necessary for the new economy. How do we get there? First, stop the wall-to-wall -wall testing that's destroying the love of teaching and learning. Let's get back to a curriculum that builds curiosity, problem solving, teamwork, and perseverance, and away from teaching to the test. Give teachers space to teach and give students freedom to learn. Next, limit classrooms to 20 children so teachers can give students the attention they need. Increase federal funding for education. Today, most public school students are poor. They need high-quality early childhood education, for starters, along with community-based schools that serve the whole child with health services, counselors, and after-school activities. Offer high school seniors the option of a year of technical education, followed by two free years at a community college. The route into the middle class shouldn't always require a four-year college degree. America needs technicians who can install, service, repair, and upgrade complex equipment. Fifth, make all of public higher education free. Higher education isn't just a personal investment. It's a public good that pays off in a more competitive workforce and better informed and engaged citizens. And most importantly, we must increase teacher pay. The law of supply and demand isn't repealed at the schoolhouse door. If we want talented women or men to make teaching their lives work, we have to pay them enough. We're paying investment bankers a fortune to attend to America's financial capital. We ought to be paying teachers and staff a decent wage to develop the nation's human capital. By reinventing education in these sensible ways, we all gain.